What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to your weekly roundup. We've got a lot to get through today. They've added a ton of stuff. Depending on whether you're an offline fan that wants to do a lot of events and get rewarded for it, or you are an online fan and you want to be playing a lot of matches, they've added a ton of stuff, lads. In, in fairness, they have added a lot. Obviously, they've added a lot of coins. They've added a lot of uh, coin-related stuff and cards and stuff like that. But genuinely, we're going to go through this uh, tab for tab. It's probably going to be a fairly long video, maybe 10 minutes or so, where we're just going through everything. But I'll get through it as quickly uh, and painlessly as I possibly can, because as I said, there's a ton of stuff here. So we are going to start with the main banners here and then go into everything else. So the actual festival campaign is underway. It says this new season is underway. We are holding a campaign in which you can get rewarded with standout players on the international stage. And they are all the rewards that you can get. There's a special login bonus that's going to get you over 500,000 GP and 200 eFootball coins. Then there is uh, national team selection chance deals for France. They're the rewards you get so you'll be able to sign players in that agent. And then the campaign objectives are going to net you 170,000 GP as well. So this festival campaign is obviously kicking off now and you can just complete those as you see fit. They've also added a couple of cards, but we're going to start with the authentic match and go through from left to right. So we've already got this one in, which is basically the World Cup experience. You go in, you pick your squad, and then you get put into whichever group you of the team that you pick. And then you'll be facing off against that team, and then you can get 120,000 GP for the first win. But you do get a maximum, I think, of, uh, I think it's over like 300,000 that you get for the rewards in that one. So that is basically, you're playing against the AI, it's basically like a World Cup experience you're playing the proper uh, the proper groups with the proper players um and stuff like that we will be doing that later on today hopefully i will be live streaming as well later today lads if you guys want to check it out um and hopefully you get, come over and have a have a chat with me and keep me company i will be doing a couple of subscriber videos as well where i'll be playing you guys whoever's watching in the chat i'll be playing subscribers in subscriber showdown so if you are interested in that make sure you are subscribed to the channel right now to get involved so on to dream team then right they've added a load of stuff to dream team here they've added obviously the eFootball league is still ongoing that is normal but they've added a good lot of events right so something that people have been crying out for ages they've added a filter rating team strength capped event called the international cup under 2100 and they've also added an international cup here where the team limit Gain entry to the event by including players that meet the specific conditions in your game plan, right? So I'll get into that in a second. They've also added debut match, which is basically against the AI. You just play one match and you get 100 coins, which is pretty handy for newcomers or anybody that wants to top up their team with coins. And then they also have the free player of the week spin when you complete the national team event as well. So this International Cup under 2100, lads, is very kind of exciting because there's a lot of conditions that you need to meet that you're not going to be coming up against the likes of Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi. You have to play, like there's conditions on it, right? So number one, you need your team to be uh, have a base strength of under 2100. And trust me, you're not going to get a lot of players in at that team strength. But you also need to have a minimum of 18 players with a nationality linking with one of these down here. So you need to have, say nine English players, nine Portuguese players, or, you know, five Wales, five English, um, five Portugal and three Spain, whatever, you know, mixture of these that you want, but you need to have a minimum of 18 players who are nationals of your selected national team and game plan, right? So this game plan here that I'm picking, I have the base strength, but I don't have all the players that I need from the national team. So there's a lot of thought to go into this. Basically, you will be playing as a national team in this with a couple of other players that have not made maybe the World Cup squad thrown in. So for example, maybe I'd have Garnacho on, uh, on the squad um, for Argentina and you know get, get kind of a lot of those players in or, or so on and so forth but yeah once you complete that all you have to do is score one goal to go on with that one and you get a load of rewards um there is a regular match pass rewards there as well we will get into that in a second uh which is quite exciting i think and then the international cup here is pretty much the same you need to have players uh from this uh from these national teams so you can kind of link and do the both of those at the same time you get 50 coins there both of these are user matches 1v1 pvp and both of these are against the ai so yeah 
at least they're adding a lot of stuff like that um, to keep pe- keep people engaged because, you know, not everyone wants to just go for Division 1 all the time. You know, I just want to have crack with the game uh, in the time that I get to play it. So they've also talked, I'll just click on this as well. They've also talked about this, which are debut missions, um, which seem to be new and have a new layout in this, right? In that you... Um, you get all these objectives here that you can just like get all these any of these that you complete you get the reward so that's it so you just need to clear the debut match event use a standard player ticket learn the controls um the rest of the stuff you can just really easily uh unlock if you haven't already unlocked it's very very simple to do it and you get all these rewards then for it in that one up to fifty thousand gp and sixty thousand trainer points as well as a five star a standard player ticket which we'll get to in a second as well as a couple of other uh standard tickets as well so moving on then we will touch on the contract uh based stuff which are all these packs that you have in here so there's a lot there's a lot going on here lads right we've got special player lists we do have spain 2010 as the epic so you've got torres alonso and iniesta you've got the japanese epics that are here as well nakata Sato and Nakamura. You've got a worldwide player of the weeks. So you've got Kimmich in there. Uh, you've got J League awards. You've also got American League. You've also got all time greats. You've also got uh, Total Super League. You've also got all these that are still remaining there. So, man, there's a lot to get through. I'm going to be like all day literally doing these events, right? Both of these are nominating contracts. So, if you have spent all your nominating contracts, yeah, I'm glad I didn't spend mine because I still have one five star here. And I genuinely think I am going to probably get, uh, I would probably say maybe somebody like, I mean, look, we don't have amazing players here, but I definitely think I might get Thomas Muller just for the banter. He's not the best player that you're going to get, but yeah, he's still fairly decent and he does go up to a 96 overall as an SS. Um, you've also got the, the Super League here as well. There's some nice players in that. Uh, for five star, four star, and three star, we will get to that uh, with a review later on. The American League, then as well, uh, you've got a lot of players in there. You've got a ton of players in there that are for coins. You've got a load of them in there, and then also you have got the J League awards. You've got a load of players in there as well, and that's for coins as well. You can clear that agent with coins if you want. You can keep spinning. And then you've got your player of the week, which you get three spins at uh, as normal and four with the extra free one that I covered at the start of it. I mean, I want this guy, lads, Garnacho. Oh, man, look at him. Absolute beast. He's on A form as well. Nuno Mendes would be huge as well. Cruz Odegaard. I mean, I have enough Kimmiches. Tony would be unbelievable as well. There's this is a really good player of the player of the week, so we will get into that as well. Um, obviously, they're the finalized versions of the cards. Um, and then you've also got Spain and Japan, as I said there. But on top of that, right, we also have these uh, national team packs. So you've got Argentina, Brazil, Japan, and France. Now, lads, you can buy these for 1,500 coins. I would say every single player is going to buy this, t- this pack, lads, because they look absolutely incredible. So this is a special edition of Benzema here. He's got an iconic celebration. He's got an iconic look. He's got his uh, bandage on his arm. And he's got really, really good stats as well. So you've got Benzema there with 22 levels. You can put him up with, uh, you know, I think you can get him up to like over 94, uh, depending on how you train him up. But yeah, and then the rest of the players that you see here, I will be doing a review on these uh, quite soon and have that up later as well. Japan, Brazil and Argentina, the same. So you've got the Messi here. I mean, again, I think a lot of people are going to buy Messi. This is a special edition of Messi. He's actually an AMF in the argentinian squad so that's going to be interesting so yeah i think a lot of people that missed out on the legend messi i probably won't get this pack simply because i don't really need any player on it and i do have that legend messi um and the same with the brazilian pack we will see whether i get that version of neymar i'll see so that is the packs there um there's also this standard player tickets which we don't have any unlocked at the moment but you will be able to unlock those using the match pass which we'll get to in a second and then you can trade them in for these standard players using tickets that's basically what it says um which is fairly self-explanatory so moving on to the missions right we have debut missions one as i already mentioned there you just complete those and then you unlock debut missions two and the more missions that you unlock the more awards that you get we also have finally the long awaited and long discussed match pass so this match pass is open from now until the 15th of december right there's a free regular version, there's a value version, and there's a premium match pass. To unlock them, you need 250 for the value match pass and 500 coins for the premium match pass. The regular match pass is going to get you 
like all these rewards that you're seeing here, right? All of these up until I think it's 40 or 50. Yeah. So there's 50 levels of rewards for the regular um and for the value one you get this all the way up and then it stops there's a couple of more rewards then for the premium at the end so you can see that the premium one which is going to cost you 500 coins has got 50 more levels compared to the rest of them so you're talking about coins so you're basically buying back your coins effectively uh with the premium one that's basically what you're doing because you're getting what one two three four you're getting four extra coins there uh, so you're getting 200 extra coins after level four, after level 50, but you're also unlocking coins here the whole time. So yeah, and you're getting five star uh, nominating contracts and player of the months and stuff like that. Uh, so you can do what you want to do. There's players there that you can unlock. You can see here, any of these, the five star guys, these are going to be five star contracts. But yeah, the thing that interests me the most is these players, who they're going to be bringing. These special players are only available only available in the match pass you can't buy them anywhere else so yeah let me know if you guys are interested in in unlocking the match pass i think to be honest man it just adds more like more playability to the game that's what it does add you know what i mean it doesn't need to be the most exciting content in the world or the most overcomplicated content in the world that you can just kind of tip away at it they've added new objectives as well campaign objectives where you can unlock a five star uh, uh event these will unlock as you progress through them and then obviously we also have um, Dream Team and stuff like that that we can just normally play. We have all our login bonuses here and we have all of these that we already went through. There's the International Cup, there's the J-League Rewards, all of these we already went through. So yeah, lads, the eFootball Point Shop as well, that is very exciting, has been updated uh, with Oliver Can and uh, Yang Collar as well as who else was there that I see? Yeah, Collar Can. Uh, I mean, everyone's probably going to get Can. Um, I already have Skolji, but yeah, I mean, everyone's probably going to get Can. I have twenty eight thousand uh, train or points there, so that's going to be huge. I think a lot of people are going to get that. To be honest with you, because Can is one of the best keepers in the game. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, keeping you guys up to date. And I will be back quite soon. Uh, in a little bit with more reviews and uh, more videos and we will have the live stream later so that is it for me lads peace